Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Sabrent 4TB Rocket Extreme Portable NVMe Drive. Now, I'm very excited to share this with all of you because this is not only the largest portable NVMe on Earth, it's also the fastest. Now, in the past, I shared the Sabrent Rocket Pro. That does not require Thunderbolt 3, and it achieves nearly, as you may have seen in my performance test, nearly a gigabyte per second transfer capability. So that's already amazing, but you are definitely paying for what you are getting, no question about it. Comes at a hefty price tag, this one a little bit more expensive, but if you have Thunderbolt 3 capability on your laptop or desktop, I highly recommend turning to this because I have already reviewed the one gigabyte version of this and you are going to be getting well over one gigabyte per second, which is just insane. Yes, 2020, if there's one good thing coming out of this year, it's these brand new NVMEs that Sabrent is cranking out. They even have an eight terabyte NVME now uh, that to my knowledge is the largest on earth, but it is not uh, a portable. So that's why I said this is the largest portable NVMe drive out there and again, the fastest. So let's get it out of the package. Uh, I'm expecting good things across the board. I mean, Sabrent continues to impress me. Uh, this was sent to me for review. Uh, so, and I'm not giving Sabrent uh, positive feedback uh, just because uh, they sent me this. I'm giving it to them because they deserve it. I mean, they really do make quality products. They are innovating in a time where we're really not seeing any innovation at all. And I mean, I already like what they've done with their uh, toolless enclosure. This is really a great pickup if you need one. But if you're looking for something that's totally done out of the box, that's what you're getting right here. So the first thing that you'll be hit with are the instructions in order to get all of that performance functioning uh, because you do have to jump into uh, the settings in order to make sure that you have uh, both, as you can see right here, not just making sure within the policies that you have to go into your device manager uh, to make sure that under policies, you're on better performance, as you can see right here in the instructions, uh, and then furthermore, you need to enable uh, write uh, catching on the device. If you do not do that, you will not have uh, the full breadth of what this thing is capable of. So while this looks a lot like uh, its Rocket Pro uh, Brethren, you can see the logo is what's different and again, the performance, because this is going to deliver basically double the performance of what the Rocket Pro can do. And you may not need that or you may need it. And if you need it, again, the pricing on these two drives isn't so far apart. I believe this is 900 and I think the four terabyte Rocket Pro is 800 on Amazon. I will include a link in the description. No worries about that. And Sabrent does also furnish you with what you absolutely must have in order to utilize this. Because again, if you do not have Thunderbolt 3, this isn't going to work. At least not to my knowledge, I did not, you know, with the one terabyte, uh, Thunderbolt, uh, excuse me, Extreme Drive. That was the same case. And they're giving you uh, a cable that is going to deliver the bandwidth that you need, which is, again, Thunderbolt 3 performance after you've made the appropriate changes uh, in the device manager for the four terabyte Extreme. So again, really excited. This is, as I mentioned at the top of the video, the largest and fastest portable NVMe ever made. And, you know, it's expensive, but I can already tell you, even without testing this, you get what you pay for. I know that from literally every Sabrent product uh, that I've demoed, reviewed now in the last year or so. And while you may not have heard of Sabrent in the past, you better believe you're going to become even more familiar with them as time goes on because no one is doing what they're doing right now. And that's why I appreciate, as I mentioned, innovation and that's what they're delivering. So I hope to see their eight terabyte drive. I don't know that they're gonna send that my way, uh, but if they do, I will obviously be happy to test that out. I mean, that's pretty much a dream drive as well for any uh, beast of a desktop, uh, or if you wanna throw it into an enclosure. I mean, just think about that for gaming, uh, 4K video content. I mean, four terabytes is already mind numbing at these speeds, but bump it up to eight, holy moly. Anyway. Uh, hope you all enjoyed this quick first look unboxing. I'll be doing 
obviously a performance test of this, and I will pit it directly against the Pro version. Again, you cannot go wrong with either of these, but if you have Thunderbolt 3 and need the performance difference, which is, again, nearly double, then you've got to go with the Extreme, in my opinion. It's just, it's a no-brainer. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to su subscribe. And, of course, please stay safe. Later.